Jake Vossen Kemper, agronomy lead with Look Grow. So if you're in the combine right now and you're thinking about the X factor, in other words, what can I do next year to get a few more bushel? One thing you might want to think about is how is your fertilizer nutrients being applied? Are they being applied uniformly across that boom, kind of like your sprayer? Or are they being spread non-uniformly with a dry fertilizer sprayer, or spreader? We know that dry fertilizer machines have a very difficult time uniformly applying those nutrients across the swath width. Liquid, liquid suspension machines, however, do a fantastic job of applying those nutrients across the boom evenly. And that's important because that delivers maximum yield potential. I went on numerous service calls this spring looking at sulfur streaks and, fe sulfur streaks and fields. A lot of those sulfur streaks were due to non-uniform dry fertilizer application. And today we're going to show you the difference between liquid suspension and dry fertilizer in real time. So as promised, we have evaluated both the liquid suspension floater as well as the floater with the dry box on it. And to no surprise, we found that the dry fertilizer machine doesn't do a great job at uniformly distrib distributing those nutrients across the swath width. But the liquid machine did a fantastic job, all right? Now back to the dry machine. The dry machine on flat ground didn't do very well. But it gets even worse when you increase rates, like what, like what would happen in a variable rate type application, or when you're on side slopes. Now this summer when I was, in, when I was on many service calls looking at sulfur streaking in fields that we determined was from misapplication of dry fertilizer, you could see these deficiencies across much of the field. But it got much worse in these side hill situations where the dry fertilizer machine does an even poorer job of distributing nutrients. And that's a concern of mine because it's on these side slopes that generally tend to be eroded and don't have as much organic matter that can hold nutrients. That's where you're having the biggest yield losses. And that's where this crop needs as much nutrients from fertilizer as possible and it needs to be uniformly applied. Now in the competitive landscape that we live in today, I would think that with where fertilizer prices are where they are, we would wanna apply nutrients as uniformly as possible to get the most economic return for our dollar spent on fertilizer. So with that, if you're looking for the X factor and, and uniform nutrient distribution and, and ma to maximize yield potentials, please give us a call. Stay in the know with Liquid Grow.